Last time I talked to the Dharma school students, I talked about Dhamma, about selfless giving. Dhamma is the first of the six paramitas. This morning I'd like to talk about the second of the six paramitas. The second para paramita is sila, or discipline. Discipline. That is to control ourselves so that we can live in this world. Everywhere we look, there are guidelines and rules that limit what we can do. And we need the discipline to follow the guidelines, to follow the rules of this world. When we're at home, there are house rules. House rules, probably laid down by your mom, reinforced by your dad. But it means you have to follow the house rules as long as you live there. There are all kinds of rules, and it would be different in each home. For me, my mother said things like, wash your hands before you eat. And she always said, and always said, clean up your room. Don't leave, don't leave your room a mess. And then we go to school. And there are rules, the bell rings, and we start, we start the school day and we go to class. And so we need the discipline. When we hear the bell, we know what to do. We go to class. And there are also laws that need to be obeyed. We all know it's not safe to cross the street at anywhere, anytime we want. We go to the crosswalk, usually at the corner. And there are street lights. So we don't walk until the light turns green or the sign says walk. And these are just simple examples of discipline. The discipline that we need to get along in this world. We all need discipline to control our behavior so we get along in this world. We all have to have this discipline, sila, the discipline of our behavior that sort of controls our thoughts, our words, and our actions. Everything that we do, that we think about how to get along with others and the discipline, the rules that we have to follow, I guess, the discipline we need to get along. So with this, the students and teachers can go to their classes. <laughs>